Yeah. Yeah, the Elikus is sure. Moach Shala Alaleib. The Elikus is most by the by the Moach, the Lach, the, the yeah. dampness, the the new, the neuro. Yeah. Yeah. The whole the whole way it li- lights up and. We don't really know much about the brain scientifically oh. or psychologically. You look at this thing. And it's something beyond. The emotion, the Rabbi Nachman ben Feig, when Nachman Simcha talks about it, it's like going into the cloud, like the grey matter, it's like the cloud, the Anan, mm-hmm. and you're entering into this place of, of, uh, of Hester seemingly, but inside is these tremendous like oiris and light and clarity. And so it's like this whole mission to be able to go into the hoshev, go into the darkness and bring out the light. And yet your nerves that go all through yeah. your body, they're tough as nails. Yeah, they're all connected. They're, they're mm-hmm. like, you know, they're, they're like... You're right, the mark, but it's protected, the mark. The skull. Yeah. It's well, just, yeah that, it, protection's a big deal. He goes, you protect that money you have all day long. You protect your, your precious things. That sure. You protect your body here and there. You better protect your mind. You better put a police yeah. officer by each eye and worn by the ears, and you better... Who's a Rav Miller. Rav Miller, Yeah. Yeah. Rav Simai Zibelberg, he, he's holding by this, and he... It's funny. Because some yeah. people, I'm sorry, but just because some yeah. people, they actually, not only... They, it, 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 it's a robber. It's a robber sure, that sure. wants to come into you to bring you down. Ganav, he goes, yeah. and some people bring the Ganav into their house. Sure. He goes, it's a box that is... This. He's talking about a TV, you know, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a Ben Shapiro advert he, he, he for uh, the VNP. He didn't even do uh, it. Well, you know, the virtual he, thing. Yeah. VPN, excuse me, yeah. VPN. The idea that you have to have this virtual protection for your, for your, for your network, for yeah. your computer. So you, you wouldn't just leave your computer open in a cafe in the middle of New York and let everyone just come and check out all your details and steal everything, you know? Yeah. That's what happens when you send a VPN. So the same with the mind, Kosher uh-huh. Kane. Yeah. Uh, Simai Zilberberg says that even a machshava about a Jew is allowing the gun up to gun up. Yeah, but Miller thief. didn't even know about a computer. No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. True. I mean, he, he would, that's what oh, I'm Someone like him, just... he would, he's going bananas yeah. on a box. He didn't even have a remote then. He, he wouldn't be able to handle talking about this. So, so see, Mario used to say that every minute of life, every second of life, every information that you put into your brain has to be Hashman. That's how he was, it was, it was, it was sure as a canon for me to be around him yeah. to a certain point. Because he was had such a ephas, he had such desires for all of Torah, and, and he had a whole cheshman of how he's going to learn all of Torah. Whole Torah Kula, not just, you know, like a few Mishnahs. He had yeah. such, he's a young, young person when he was saying this. He was like, you know, we're talking about 10 years or more ago. And he's saying like, he's the she'ifas, the nerots, and the shtokukus, and all the different hishtadlis he had, and, and the cheshman, all the different strategies and plans like business people have in their businesses. He had for how, all of Torah. How he's going to learn all of Torah, every single part of Torah, every chelik of Torah, and he had it all mapped out, and it created more and more of a rots and a will to learn and learn, and therefore the yakus is man, the, the preciousness of time, of, and, and not just that, the preciousness of information. We're a generation which we're just engulfed in data and information, and online it's just a deluge of information. He was so careful what he allowed his eyes and his mouth and his every part of his being to be involved with because he he was building this 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 uh this mayach that was clean from all the all the chitsonius all the external aspects you know i asked him once about das he said das has to come from a place which is rain which is clean it has to come from a pure place it, these are the kind of levels so i asked him once about Robert, dr twersky i said dr twersky you know he's a rav everyone respects him i run jay twersky you know, he learned to hit swarm, hit sonim. He learned, you know, all kinds of stuff, yeah. And uh, you know, if you read his books, you see he's like he's knowledgeable about everything. So he said, he said that, he said, as far as he knows, he never claimed he was das Torah. He would speak to das Torah, he'd speak to the stipler. He never claimed himself as das Torah. He would quote das Torah. He 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 was in, he gave advice in terms of life, you know, self esteem, things important. He never claims himself to be das Torah. If you, if you actually look into how he spoke about it, he was very careful in that way, because he knew that he'd learned a lot of things that maybe didn't give him that schus. I the same with me. Like I'd never be a rabbi, nothing. You know, the Havdal Aleph Havdalas and these holy people. I, I've never claimed to be because I've absorbed so much other stuff. So I've let my mind experience so much other stuff. You know, so I can't I can't claim that title of that purity, that clean kind. But the Sadiq, we're learning here in the Kutimaran and, and Torah Lamedalid, and we already went a bit weiter 
um, from when we learned last, the idea of the Sadiq, the Yos of a Sadiq, it's Sholet. He's able to be the Shorish of all the Nishamas of Yisrael. The Sadiq is able to be the root and include all the Nishamas because he's Sholet on his Yetzirah. He's able to awaken inside of us. Yeah, we went a little bit later. He went awaken inside of us this voice for Vodas Hashem, for this the, uh, awaken inside of the Nikudas Alev. And the Shema Hashem Kol Yehuda, we hear the Kol Yehuda, that's the passage we got to Elimo to Vienu, and he brings us to do the Yavodos Hashem. This is the idea of the Sadiq, wakes us up. Yeah, the Het Azoin, the Gezeroi Sav, Shal Sadiq. Oiza le Koila, la Gia, el Libam, Shal Bnei Israel, Bnei Amo, la Oira, Oisam, la Vodos Hashem. He wakes us up to do the Sadiq, so, uh, to Vodos Hashem, says Rechaim uh, Kramer underneath in, in Hebrew. He wakes us up to serve Hashem. And that's something which we all need to find that sadik that wakens us up. You know, like everybody can nowadays thank Rabidaman. Think about how much he's woken us up, you know, to serve Hashem. Yeah, everyone's connected he to us. He wakes us up every week. Yeah, we're, we're, we're Victor Miller. I had the merit to be by his Leviah, Victor Miller. I was, I was learning by the mirror, near by the mirror, by in those days, a long time ago. And uh, we went to the mirror, and then he came, his body was brought from America to the mirror, and he did a hespit there. And, and I was, I was lucky to be there. Who so, was this guy? Uh, Victor Miller. Yeah. Was by his wow. uh, I didn't get to meet him in life. I had a lot of Asherim, but uh, I got to be by his Levi. Um, but anyway, the concept, when you go to a Sadiq, you get woken up by a certain Lakuda, um that you need to serve a Shammu. And that, that's what's happening in this Torah, in Torah Lamed Dalit. Sith base. Now we're going to uh, go to Sith Gimel. Bechinus Hazois. Hein of Yosef who was Sholet, who Bechinus Malafus, Malafum, what does Malafum mean? Uh, let's just read the summary from the previous section in a minute. He said, the lave shove, when the lave breaks, because of the embarrassments and the sin, it's, it's possible to fix, Kesha to, to join yourself to the, the Nakuda, the, the point that Shaykh is to, to him in its time, and the Sadik is the one who's, who's the master, and he rules. On the Kalfei Hashem Yisbarach, Kiviyachu, Mavatul Gezerof, he's able to get rid of all the bad Gezeros, yeah, all the negative uh, judgments. Tachlis Shoteinu Shosadik, he Yira Adakim, and he helps us come to Yira to fear Hashem. Shem Kach Alav Ishtamish Mumshotzu Kidei Lo Eire, it's called Sivav the Yira Hashem. And what happens is everything around the Sadik is awakened to surround all this surrounding with sphere of influence is awakened to serve Hashem and to have Yira Hashem to fear Hashem. You know, that's the Indian. We had Yom Yushalayim yesterday. I went to Yushalayim today. You feel over there, it's a, it's a mat. <laughs> it's an energy going on. But it's also, we have to tune into the Yerush Hashem that's going on in Yushalayim, in the Tzavim of Yushalayim. Uh, so the, the writer in, in Sif Gimel, he says, this aspect is Yosef is Sholet, that Yosef is ruling over. But Bechines Malufam. So we have to translate what that means. Yeah. Bechines Malufam says, Malufam hu ma'ashim shura kavana al yedenush. Sure. What does it say in English over there? A full mouth. Full mouth. Malufam. Yeah. Kamosh across the bris. Basically, the tzaddik who is yisod. Yeah. He's filled with the covenant is is the, is the chariot of yisod, the foundation. Hashem havaya shalo benukad malufam. So it fills up his mouth. So it's true. When you go to a tzaddik, one of the things you can't just talk shdiyah, even if you try it. My dad tried it once. Yeah. Not that he wanted to speak. But he was coming from, he just did a Bruce Springsteen event that weekend. He was, festival. To tell about Bruce he was starting talking to him about Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> it was Paladin. <laughs> it was just my father, myself, and, and Rav Simai. I'm <laughs> sitting in this office surrounded by Holy Sfarim. This well, holy well, office. Well, well, who else? Rav Simai is over. Is it Mamisha Sadi? Is it Tamil? I'm sure not. Big Sadi. And I was sitting over with my father, and, and he, my father is saying, <laughs> I was just by Bruce Springsteen this week. I did the Shabbos. He was Bruce, doing Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, Shabbos. I, yeah. I, I don't even remember what his nickname was. Yeah. But. He's not the, the most, yeah, the most Heilige, the oh, Heilige guy. I mean, he said he has a Jewish sounding name, which he doesn't. And then my dad was saying, you must know like the famous tennis players at that time who were doing very well, Israeli ones. And Simai was like, oh. And then he was shaking his head, I don't know. And then he started asking, what about, you must know, I just recently did something with, uh, what's the name of the big nose, the, the Jewish singer? I forgot her name. Uh, Streisand. Streisand, very good. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, she's Jewish, and um, my, my, my he, mentioned, like, he mentioned the name Barbara. Yeah, in front of mine. And Rasimai. And Rasimai uh, <laughs> just sitting there going like this. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so he said, then turns to my father and he gives a big smile. He says, he says to my father, he says, see around me all these Svarim Kadoshim, these holy uh-huh. books. 
He said, yeah, you recognize any of them? He says to my father. Yeah, he, says, hey, he pulls it, he pulls one. Yeah. He goes, look, I don't, he goes, yeah. do you recognize any of them? And, and my father's like, oh. huh? So I, it's very, just a meeting of two worlds. That's a very good response. It was a meeting of two worlds. He, said, <laughs> he, starts, he starts giving me a nudge. He says, my father said something at that point. Uh, Rasima was stroking my father because you know Sadiqim are very like warm, yeah. They give a lot of love, and my father had this nice like cricket sweater on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he says to Rasima, "Would you like me to get you one? I'll buy you one, yeah." So my Rasima is like turns to me and says, "Reblazer, what happened to your sense of humor? Seems like your father's got a great sense of humor. What happened to your sense of humor?" <laughs> he said, "You know, I don't see you making jokes like this, yeah." Wow. So he he like played the whole thing. Anyway, I heard a few. We, we met Rasima a few times. So one of the times after, I don't think it was after that, I'm not sure I remember which one it was, but one of the meetings, good things came out of it, trust me. Very, very, very important things. And he, uh, it wasn't a waste of time for us, Humayun. He said, uh, he said to us, one of his chassidim, who I'm very close with, who actually told me afterwards, it was hard for me to hear it, but it, I obviously was meant to hear it. This guy's a very big chassid, he's a big sadik himself. He said he spoke to us, Humayun, after me, he said, he, said that he, he said to me, he didn't say your father's name, he didn't say that we met, but I knew it was your father. And he said to me, after meeting such a yid who's so cynical, he said, I needed to go to the mikveh. <laughs> that was his reaction to my father. He went to the mikveh to meet my father. So I only heard about it he in direct. He, he went to the mikveh to meet my father. So <coughs> they were in the room for a while. So, you know, he had to, he had to have a good mikveh afterwards. So I said, to, I said, that's a little bit hard for me to hear. He's my dad. But yeah, nevertheless, yeah. but nevertheless, uh, I appreciate that he was honest to me, this guy. And, um, yeah, anyway, a lot of good things came out of that. And, uh, so with the idea that the tzaddik is filled up with, with Torah, that he can't speak about shtusim. He couldn't speak about any of the shtusim my dad was talking about. He can only speak about, like, uh, holy things. That's, that's what his mouth filled with. Yeah, like, uh, that, that's... One thing my father made a tzaddik. Yeah. What, what would that be like? Do you understand? Served, yeah, what would you know, I, I mean, I mean, we're smiling at your stories yeah. about your father. <laughs> my father yeah, had a, yeah, a bunch of these father stories. Would, might ask him yeah. to play cards. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he would have said to him. Yeah, he would have been polite. Is it, your father just tried to work him like he worked all his other business contacts in the world? Or all like good was, things came out. Just, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, no, I, my I, proper I, Yeshua salvations, like came out of those meetings, and my father would never forgot them. And it's affected my father till now. And uh, those other stories that continue this. Really? Yeah, have to get into another brings story. up that meeting. Yeah, of course. Well, it's interesting, he also used the word cynical. Or Shlomo also yeah. speaks about He hates cynical. But well, my dad's like Spitz, because he's English, you know? It's uh-huh. a certain humor. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've worked very hard on uh, removing that element. My Rebbe calls me out on it. Like, uh-huh. English, cynical person. Like, he, my, yeah. my Rebbe now, the Talmud Rebbe, he sees through it. Uh-huh. He says, ah, oh, Blaze is being very English today. Like, he says that kind of stuff. Anyway. We have to work on it. You know, we go to a Sadiq and they're filled up with Torah. They're not, they're not filled up with the Shtiyah. And their mouths are filled up with the Osiyah. That's what fills up the Osiyah of the Torah, the Hiris, to teach. The mouth is the plea of Shepherd. We have to realize what the mouth is. Yeah? It says in the, in, the, in the Tehillim, we say at night, and also Shacharis and Halalukas, it says, uh, yeah, it's the sword in the mouth. Yeah? The different side of the sword, that's Peshat, but it, it really what it means, if you look in the translation, it's, I think it says two-sided sword. Yeah? But what it really means is the sword is the mouth. Yeah? The mouth is a sword. It does tremendous power to like, get rid of our enemies. Yeah? It's one of the last Tehillim. You get rid of Hamas through the power of the mouth. What the tefillahs were saying. The uh, 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 And a sword, double edged, is in their hand. Bifios is double edged, is also be, uh, P in the mouth, is one of the explanations I've heard. Yeah. This, with the Kayak of the mouth, you can get rid of all your enemies. It's a cleave for Shafa, for abundance. Hainu, Haper, Shasadik. That's the mouth of the Sadik. Humayla, Melakud, Shashemisbach. It's filled with godliness of the Shemisbach. The mouth of the Sadiq is filled with godliness. You know, once, once, you remember Draw Moshe Kasito? He wanted to end off with this. Yeah. He said you have to be very careful what you put in your mouth and how you use your mouth, because this is going to be your cleave for tefillah. I once said that. Yeah. Yeah, so it shook me up, it still shakes me up. Draw Moshe Kasito. Remember oh, like him saying something like that? 
He used to poke my belly whenever he's sick. I know. I mean, I run with him. You did. Well, he was a he was a huge person. He was a huge person. He was the English department. Yeah. So he was very fundamental. Whenever I was in Israel, yeah, I used to. Yeah, I went. Yeah, we probably see each other. After the top floor, we were sitting there. We didn't even know. Had the blazers in there. Yes. Did big beautiful gingy pears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a hot spot. I actually liked him a lot. He, yeah, I miss him. He, he was just learning English, and, and, and we keep asking us. He, he, he said, he said, he, had a he said, what's what's the word for the for the middle of the eye? And it said, it said pupil. He said, pupil. The same as a student, right? He says, no. I love English. It's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. He picked up. He picked up English so well. He's, he's very good. Yeah. But the point is that he yeah, used to yeah. say the mouth the is this place. No, he's Shepherd. Because, because, because the mouth has the ability to be higher than God, so to speak, because you can use it for tefillah. And get rid of gazeras, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Sadiq goes to Hashem Makan. Right. Sadiq right. listens to right. Hashem listens to the gazeras of Siddiqui. Kosher and non kosher food goes in there. Yeah. Let's be yeah. very careful with it. So yeah. you give people are very careful about what goes in their mouth, and that's also careful about what goes in their mouth. is pear. This is now. Mouth is pear. Use your mouth. You can do it. It's where it's a mouth. In Montreal, he won't ever eat out. He will never eat out. Oh, it's Kodesh Sibbat. It's Kodesh. He doesn't trust it. He, he, even if it's Kodesh. Well, 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 Bless the beautiful Kodesh Sibbat. Chiropractor, he clicks you into place, yeah? Yes. I haven't really done it so much, but I, one time some guy grabbed me and started clicking here. <laughs> it was pretty fun. It helped for like a minute. talk about that in Beit Medrash. Yeah, no, no, I mean, Hashem, like, I mean, like, <laughs> his name's only as a good man. He's, he actually does a full... Yeah, I've done some chiropractic. He stuff. does a full st- story on, um, on this in black. Every time he goes to New York, he gets the merit to massage him. He's done a bunch of videos on this. And, yeah, so we, we met him in Ulman a long time ago. So he clicked me into place one time. It was... Powerful feeling, but at the end of the day, Rabbi Nachman's going to click us into place. Yeah, Rabbi Nachman ben Feyer, Nachman Simch, we've been learning this Torah Lamed Dalet this whole week, um, every day a little bit, and it says, "Atem tiulim amleches koinim goy kodesh." Now this is connected to Kabbalah Torah. Now what I'm learning in the Kitman is all divine providence. Like I, someone told me, a previous chavusa, start Aleph and go all the way through, and now we're all the way by Lamed Dalet somehow. Amen. And Mena Shemayim is talking from the Pesukim of Mamish tonight, is Rosh Chodesh Sivan, from this Pasha, from the Indian of Kabbalah Satoya, and Bemidbar, we're together as an Am, this unity of Atem Tim and Mechaz Kainim, Hashem is going to choose us to be what? To be the kingdom of priests, all of us. Ari's a priest, I'm a priest. Now, it happens to be I'm a Kohen, because I'm a descendant from Aaron a Kohen, but Lechachila, all of Christ are priests. Yeah? Not just the Kohenim. Everyone is a Kohen. Yeah? The Goy Kodesh. Yeah, whenever I call my kid a Goy, I said this yesterday or the other day, I also add in the word Kodesh. <laughs> you're not just a Goy, you're a Goy Kodesh. And these are the things you should speak to B'nai Yisrael. Remember, we had the Esadibras, the things. Well, it's not <laughs> small things. Hashem's mum is revealing his full rots and his full will. What he wants from us. It's pretty good. You know, the creator of the world. You know, if you have any doubts, just look at that. So the wrist, Hashem said, I took, I am your God, Lord, your God. And I took you out of Mitzrayim. It's bit, yeah, and it's a real thing. And every day he's taking you out of Mitzrayim. Taking you out for backaches, taking us out of all our problems. Kasev, now this is beautiful. Rabbi Nachman goes into this Pasuk from Dovod Melech. Everything's Dovod Melech this week. Malchus. Malchus, the week of Malchus. Herpa Shav Libi. That you're going to go through Bizionis. And what does it do? It breaks your heart. It breaks my heart to Dovod Melech. That I went through all these kind of different shaming and, and, and embarrassments. And what happened? It broke my heart. It broke his heart. It breaks the heart of a person. So you want to click yourself into back into health, like chiropractor style, just break your heart. You know, one time in London, I was walking down the street in Golden's Green, and uh, I was working for my father in his office. He was sending out a lot of merch for for WWE or WWF back in the day, uh, you know, Steve, uh, Cold Steve and Austin, what was that, Steve Cold Austin, I remember, 613 or 316, I remember what it was, he had some move, 316, 613, 613 mitzvahs, I don't know, he was like the opposite of it, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just making jokes, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> nope. Steve Cold Austin, you know, followed WWE, he was the guy who came and drank all the Bud Lights, you know, when uh, and threw uh-uh. them at people and stuff, anyway, I grew up in the wrestling world. I was sending out all this merch, merch, and also um, 
uh, music world, entertainment world. So I was sending out James Bond merch. So I wasn't very good at that because I was busy listening to Shirim on my cassette player. That's how I was back in those days. And I was listening to Rabbi Tats and this and that. And I was doing tshuva and I wanted to just learn. So I was on my way to go learn at the Jerley, which is funny enough, I just sent them a message today to book Nissan Black. We just did my Rudy Rochman over there. Now we're talking to them about Nissan Black. Um, so anyway, so I was on my way there and uh, an old man came up to me and said, you know, he was like Elianovi or something, said to me, an old sadical looking person, said to me, you have Shreya Saleh. He looked in my eyes and said, you have Shreya Saleh. You have a broken heart. And I said, uh, well, is that good? He said, very good. <laughs> that's, 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 so Rabbi Nachman was telling us that Shreya Saleh, how would you get there? Through bushes, through public embarrassment. I've had a few of those. I mentioned a bunch in the last class. Now, this is the most important thing. Have you ever heard of the concept called Nakuda Salev? Nakuda Halev, the point of the heart. You ever heard of it? Can you imagine what it means? Try to think. Um, what would like, you say Nakuda Salev? I, I would say like the, like the main part of the heart or... Yeah, main, main the point, the, the, the deep part, the godly spark. Yeah, we want to get to that point. One of the ways this concept of Nakuda Salev is used when you go to a holy rabbi, the rabbi touches your Nakuda Salev, meaning he inflames that fire within. That's, that's the kind of rabbi you want to hang out with. So if this rabbi tonight does that for you, if a Shlomo does it for you, if Shlomo Katz, Basimcha, go there. If, uh, whoever it is, yeah, I don't know who your rabbis are, but like, just say, the guy does You're it for rabbi. you. You're my rabbi. Yeah, me, my, I'm a rabbi. I'm, I'm a joke. Rab Shlomo, obviously. Shlomo is the real deal. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here for entertainment value. But the idea is you go to the rabbi, yeah? You drag yeah. me to learn, so that's okay, not that's so somebody. funny. That's it's true. not so funny. Not so funny. I, I was a little bit harif uh, uh, in my words, but it's all good. The oh, idea... Got me here. So the idea, I had uh, Yosem Mizrahi, he comes in use once in a while, he reminds me, you got to be a little bit tough sometimes. So even though it's not my way. The idea that Shreya Salibo, the Kursa Leib, the idea that you have to get that point in the heart on fire for Hashem. That's Breslov, Basalev. Rabbi Nachman's there. And we, we, we quoted a Pasuk. I, I didn't remember what the Pasuk was the other day. I, I said Bochein, but it's not really Bochein. We say this Pasuk, uh, if your name's Nachman, I don't know if you're Nachman. I actually said to send a message to Rishlomo publicly when he sent that picture I saw on Facebook of him and his father doing uh, Bikas Khanim by Rav Cook's uh, uh, shul. I didn't see. It was a beautiful picture. Because I had to look at his Facebook just for this week just to see that picture of him and his father. But there was one person missing, I wrote. Nachman. We need a son, Nachman, to be there also. Because mm. Nachman, if you've, and if you've heard him the last few weeks, Duchening, have you heard him blessing us? Oh, he knows it? Yeah, you've got to hear out. I mean, he's not going to be here this week. But uh, the previous weeks, he comes with his father, wow, and one time he's, uh, he's with his Zayda as well, and he says the bracha, and he says the bichas kind of Nachman Katz, the son of Rav Shlomo. I didn't even know he speaks. Three <laughs> generations, Duchening together. That was the only person missing in that picture. So cute. Anyway, so Nachman is the Pasuk, Ne'er Hashem Nishmas Odom, Chofesh Kol Hadre Betem. Yeah, that the candle of Hashem is the soul of man, and it, it searches out all the, the rooms of the, of the, of the, of the Betem, of the insides. Yeah, I'm not going to say stomach, because it doesn't really feel very right. All the insides, yeah. So I had a Rabbonim like that. Remember Rabbi Nachman Bulman? You remember him? Bulman, do you remember Osamer Bulman? He was not scared. I think as you came, he sort of left, but because he, he was getting very old. But I had the merit to be there before he left. Who was the other Mushkiach? It was Rav Samer. Okay, that's Rav right. Rav Isbi. There was Rav Bulman. All, the, all these Rabbeim are my Rabbeim. Right? Mm -hmm. They changed my life, all of them. And uh, Susan, uh, Rav Bulman, and Rav Samer, and I have the Ben Chaim, the should be healthy, and Rav Isbi also uh, himself. Um, but well, with some it should be healthy and well, I'd never ask him. And we also had um, Avram Rockmill. You remember him? Uh huh. He, he was, was in my rabbi. this week. Oh, you didn't know? Brock Dynamis. Yeah, not so old, right? He was Mamish Nifter this week. And it's he used right. to call me Eliezer Evan Avram and give me a punch. He ever gave you a punch? Yeah, and he would come collect for me in Chicago. Oh, yeah, he's a good fundraiser. Which is funny because once I moved here, maybe you gave him he a little bit. He's, he knows how to fundraise. Yeah, but I gave what I had. But, for, uh, for the intermediate program. But the funny part is he. Um, yeah. He was a schmuck. He never came to me here. Yeah, he he, he does his. He probably, he probably didn't know that I. He does his fundraising in Israel and America. Oh, that's so not, sad. Not, he, was he, used to, was he was the only rabbi I ever went to my dad's office, was other than a rabbi from there, Jake, uh, Rabbi uh, I forgot his name. He was unfortunately um, I don't know the 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 story behind it, but I know he lost a son, which didn't help. Oh. And um, 
Yeah, we were just quoting the Pasuk from Nachman. You heard of the Pasuk? From Ner Hashem Nishmas Adam. It's the Pasuk for Nachman. And anyone called Nachman, like Nachman Shlom, uh, Ben Shlomo Katz, would say this Pasuk when he's older. He says, Ner Hashem Nishmas Adam, Chofish Kol Hadre Betan. He seeks out all the insides. That's the Koyach of Nachman. He's able to penetrate. Mm-hmm. So you get to the Kudus Alev of David Rich. Who is David Rich? But Emes. That's the Sadik. He's able yes. to get inside the Nakudas Alev, the Panemius point of Yid. That's and he brings it alive. We said it was become, you know, from getting shamed from the Sionis. So we're just talking about a Rebbe who was nifted this week, Rebbe Avram uh, uh, Ben Bero uh, uh, Rochmil. He was the Rock. We know him as the Rock. You know his full name? That's his name, Ben Barrel. Yeah. We should uh, dedicate our learning to him. Can we text it to me later? Yeah, sure. He's, he's, dedicate he's, to him. Close with him Avram Ben he was, my, yeah, he was my rabbi there. I had no yeah. idea. And yeah, he, would come collect, this week. he would come collect money. The only Chicago. guy who came to my father smoked a cigar my father. With <laughs> class. You knew it? You knew my father him remembered Chicago? him. No, no, I learned with him yeah. in Israel at Orzamach. But oh. then he would come to Chicago to fundraise. And I just oh. said to someone the other day, I just said it's funny that once I moved here, that they stopped like hitting me up. Yeah. But I, I don't think I ever told them I moved here, sadly. I kept, I kept my father a secret. The truth is that every time I phone him in let's, the night, next come week, to let's go house. visit Or Samach one day. Okay. I feel I'll come with so you. Would, you I went to see I phoned up Rabbi Samach already. Really? I phoned Rabbi Samach. And, and he oh, said he's really? going to be missed. Wow. You're a yeshiva boy. Yeah, we were All Samach yeah. boys together. Well, I know, I know, I know you, I know you are. Or Mashiach. Or Mashiach, I used to call it. I brought, I brought this. Uh, oh, this fit is a shlav. Very good. Yeah. yeah, this guy might want it. It was Shimon, he was asking about it. Oh, yeah, Shimon. He has there. a print out of the Tfilas of Shlav, if you want it. Like the key? No, it's just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's for you. That is perfect. Look at that. Any idea how much my wife has been wanting this? Wow. Thank oh, you sure. so much. Look at that. Divine Providence. Wow. It's supposed to learning. So he says like this He says, Ayudezer Nizbato Harifa Vashura Alibo. And through this, he's able to nullify the, the shame that came upon you. Yeah, why? Because it comes upon you a shame. You feel, wow, I can't believe this. All these Rabbonim are against me for making this event. It happened to me. Or people are, sh- are going crazy because of this video that went viral from with Man of Sweden. I, these are the previous stories I told. And it's on your heart. You're feeling very like, oh my God, I just like got publicly embarrassed. So what happens? Comes the Shreya Salev and it cleans you off. And it gives you a connection to the Nikola Salev, the, the Panemius which is above all these embarrassments, yeah? This is a beautiful concept. We say actually every night, I don't know if you recognize this language. It says here, the, yeah, the, the disgrace is eliminated. The Sadik is able to exercise the rule as he's fit. The Sadik rules. This Loshan is Kuret Sona. We say every night in Marav. It's very important to, to, to look at the words of Tefillah and pay attention. Because it says in the, in the rule, that it's it's Mamshala. What's Mamshala? <coughs> this principle has the Sadik is able, the Pope Ulus Kuritsona, according to his will. What's Kuritsona? Very important concept, but son. Rotson, that's where it's at. Kuritsono. When you when you everything. everything. You've everything. got to speak to a you real Yushami, like someone who's a Sadik. Like I, I had it supposed to be by one of these Yushamis. And everything I to, I spoke to him about, he said Kuritsono. It goes according to his will. I love that answer. You don't hear that from modern day people, you know? These old guys from the old world, they speak Kurt Sonoi. They speak according to his will. That's yeah, what they care about. You heard it from Rabbi Arush, that's for sure. Rabbi Arush spoke about it, sure. But the one yeah. I heard about it from was, uh, he was a Mechassid, called Karl Chassid. They were a breaker from Karl and uh, these guys, his name is Rabbi Akiva, something like that, I've forgotten his last name. Moshe Joshua, Chachmeinu, Chachmeinu, Bacha, Tzadik Moshe. The Sadik is ruling. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, we, how do we see this? Me, Moshe B, Sadik Zel Bechinus Yosef, who Hashalit. Yosef was the Shalit. He was the one running the, running the world yeah, in that time. He was second Mishnah Lamelech. He was second to Paro. But basically he had full control of all the Panasa, all the Shefa, all the Sino, all the Panasa. It's an Indian, by the way, to say, Ani Ana Kazara Sho Yosef. It says in Gemara, in, uh, about Rabbi Yochanan, I am the seed of Yosef. How are you the seed of Yosef? So the Shomer Munim, who we mentioned the other day, of Aaron Rot, he explained that the idea of being the seed of Yosef and Sadik means that you have the Kayach of being Mavatal, the Ayan Hara. You have the Kayach to get rid of any Ayan Hara, any bad eye. How do you get rid of the evil eye? By being the seed of Yosef. How are you the seed of Yosef? Because Yosef and Sadik was Mafanis everyone. 
not just the Jews, the whole world during his Tukufa being Mishnah the Malach in Mitzrayim. And once someone is Mufanis you, they become a Bechinus Abba. They become like your Tati. And therefore, you can say, it's, it's legit to say, I am the seed of Yosef. Sadik. Zer Bechinus Yosef who are Shalit. Who Shoresh Kalalias Nishmas Yisro. Because he's also the Kalalias. The Hilm said he taught all the, all the sages of Mitzrayim. Yeah, yeah. And these are the branches that we receive from it. I need to someone try to call me one second. Take it. No, I don't want to take it. I just want to just make sure. I got a message from. I, I, I mean, I grew up Orthodox. I, I got a message from. Ah, look that. at that. I got a message from Shlomo Katz. Nishma Besoros Tovis. So the idea of Sadik is Sholitz, yeah? He said we should hear only good news. That was his message to me. And remember, we have to dedicate to the soldiers as well, Box of the Mashes and Azar right now. And it, it, all the souls are connected and the branches that are uh, received from the Sadiq. Yeah, the Sadiq is the one who brings down all the souls, brings down all the Shefa, all the, all the Sino, all the Ashbaz, all the Brocha. Interestingly, the Sino is the same Osis as Rotson. So you said Rotson is everything. Sino, the pipeline that brings down the Shefa, is the same letters as Rotson. So the Shefa, the Sino, the pipeline of abundance that comes into your life is connected to the Indian of Rotson and that's connected to the Indian of the Sadiq who's Shore, who's Kalas Nishmas as well. It includes all the Ikam Amshala, Leela Oira Libam Lavodas Hashimis You hear this? This is why the Das Torah, the Hadrach I got when I was a young man, was find the Sadiq that lights up your heart. Why? Because we're going to hear here the Ikam Amshala, the Ikam ruling is to light up and awaken the hearts. To people to do a vote of Sashem Yitzbach. I tell you one of the reasons why I knew Rav Simai Zilberg was an Emerson Sadek, because when I first went there the first few times, I had the most fiery dick of tefillahs, just being in his presence, touching his hand and getting a bracha. I went afterwards and had the most powerful tefillah, more than powerful than I had that year in Al Sameh, wherever I was, in Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. That tefillah with this, after Stam Marev, after being in the presence of the Sadek, was lit up was elevated just by being in his presence. I even done with him. I done with him afterwards in a different minute. But just being in that moment of connection with some Sadiq, it lit me up, opened up my heart to Hashem Yisbarah. Do you know Rav Shimon, Rav Shimon Galai? No, no, no. He's, he's a very, very sweet Sadiq, lives in, um, in um, what's next to Tel Aviv? That, uh, there's but yeah, um, ben, ben, ben Ben Ebra, yeah. Um, oh, and, you're looking for one, yeah. And I, uh, yeah, yeah. What, one time I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like in the wrong part. I, I sat next to yeah. him, and yeah. this, uh, his, um, one of his Talmidim, which yeah. was one of my friends, it was like the only person that I ever like hated. Oh, wow. Because like he did something to hurt my son, Terrible. and I couldn't, like, I forgave him. It's so hard the to pain forget. would never, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, it's hard. and it's, it's in the kind of in the point of the heart, it, yeah. it never left. And this friend, told me to, it was a Malava Malka, and he comes up and he goes, please sit next, go sit next to my Rebbe. Wow. And I said, no, no, it's because it's the head of the table, I wasn't interested, and he was like, no, wow. you have to. And from the second I sat there, like, it all vanished. All day. It was wow. unbelievable. I mean, he's, he's, he's also giving me unbelievable brachas Amen. at Rabbi. And, like, I saw, like, magic wow. happen. Givaldi, so, Kamosh, Shikosu, Shema Hashem, Kol Yehuda, El Amo Tevienu, says the Pasuk, yeah? That you shall hear the voice of Yehuda, and to the nation it shall bring him, bring them. And there will be a light, the light of the Sadiq to the with the branches. So basically, the the voice is going to be heard, and your tefillahs are going to be heard, and it's going to bring that light. Light is going to bring awaken up you to the Vodas Hashem. It's going to bring you to a Vodas Hashem. See, that's why it's so important to be connected to the holy people. They awaken you to serve Hashem. They wake you up from your slumber. That's why I'm here. Ah, and I'm not such a guy. No, no, we have Siddiquim that I'm connected with. Nothing to do with me. Rabbi Nachman, Ben Fager, Shlomo, whoever you want. Don't choose me. Is the more hidden I am, the better. No one knows I exist, the better. Yeah, yeah. Once, you know, Rav Oresh used to come up to me when I started doing all these public classes on their platforms. And I was getting, like, good views, like... Rebunit was like, we'll make you into a superstar. That's what Rebunit said to me. <laughs> yeah. So, and I was like, I don't know, that doesn't sound look so good. So then the sun started coming up to me and said, uh, Rebeli, you're becoming a Sadiq Mephorsim. I said, that doesn't sound good. Because in Breslov, a Sadiq Mephorsim, someone who's promoting a Sadiq, it means something off. It means like, they were making fun of me, basically. It's calling me a Sadiq Mephorsim means, a famous Sadiq means you're like fame, you're into the fame, not to the Sadiq. You understand? So they were saying, I said, I said, don't, 
I, I was getting nervous. I didn't like the way they were talking because it was like making me feel like uh, I was boring on something I'm not. So, uh, and either way, I'm not famous and I'm not a Sadiq. So, Should we see? anyway, forget about me. The point is that the, the Sadiq awakens you know the Nakudas. Yeah, it's getting late. The Sadiq awakens the Nakudas Alev, wakes us up to Hashem. By the way, look, Hashem had you push me for a reason. Boch Hopefully. all together. I'm going to get a minion. Mincha! Run, run. Mincha, mincha. Center, center. Anyway, Hashem wanted us to learn this Torah a little bit more. Baruch Hashem, we should be zochit to find the Sadiq who wakens up to ourselves to Baruch Hashem. We should find the Sadiq within, find the Sadiq within our children to wake them up to Baruch Hashem. Find the Sadiq within our wives. They're so busy. Sit to the Sidconius within our family. <coughs> yeah, we, we, we got the Pasuk from the other day from learning. Ner Hashem Nishmas Odom. It's a Pasuk from his Tehillim. Chofesh yeah. Abetan, he, he goes inside of Nachman, the Pasuk yeah. from Nachman. He goes inside a right. heart and wakes us up. Wakes us up to Avodah Hashem. That's what we're learning about. When he's, when he's and the, the, the Jodas and the, the shame and all that stuff, right. it cleans us off so we can wake up to Avodah Hashem. Reveal that Panemius. Have a good Shabbos, a good Shabbos.